Ancient OS 5.4 is here based on Android version 11 and if you don't know Ancient OS is one of the most customizable ROMs out there. It is just one of those ROMs which is available for many devices and we have installed it on our Redmi Note 8. I tried and tested it on my other devices also if you don't know I have Poco X3 I tried it on my mutual device also it's actually quite good. And yes, in the terms of customizations, almost every room is nothing about nothing compared to this one. Resurrection Remix also has many customizations, but that's based on Android 10. Here it's based on Android version 11 with the latest May security patch in Instant OS version 5.4. As you can see, it's based on Android version 11, all the Android 11 features plus some Android 12 features plus some customizations everything is included in this build you must definitely try out this build on your device we are reviewing it on our redmi note 8 and this is a unified build so redmi note 8 and redmi note 8t both are compatible for other devices i will provide you the link in the description the ui seems to be very good enough if you don't know this is the ui which you get here the settings ui is properly redesigned you will see one-handed mode available there and like that we have other options available for you if you don't know a lot of customizations even in the volume panel you can customize these switches whichever thing you want in your volume panel you can simply use the performance wise yes this room is quite good alongside with good customizations it also comes with good kind of performance especially in redmi note 8 the stats doesn't show like that but the performance seems to be good enough i've noticed one thing i will share with you very soon first of all we're going to talk about the cpu throttling test Okay, you can see the CPU throttling test first of all that will show you like this graph which was not expected and as I previously mentioned to you I saw a lot of good kind of performance related custom rooms and this room is one of those which has very good performance but the CPU throttling test is showing me that it isn't good enough in the terms of performance. It's almost same in Geekbench score, same in Antutu that the stats are not showing what it actually is. This is why I don't believe in stats and I will recommend you not to use those stats, not to see those stats. It's better to use, install the room, then decide which room is perfect for you, which room is good for you. I will definitely not recommend you to use CPU throttling test and anything but for some other users I needed to do that that's why I'm doing it so don't complain this we have Geekbench score and as I mentioned you Geekbench score also doesn't clarify you about this performance it will show you 306 and 1282 it's dep it depends upon my device in your Redmi noted the scores might be different also in average I got 307 and now we got 306 in multi-core we have also less score compared to the normal one or you can say compared to the average one so this is why it is showing something different but yes the performance is actually quite good also the thing is and to the score in some customers i got approximately 2 lakh 25 thousand 2 lakh 30 thousand maybe more than that but here we only got 2 lakh 5 to 7 this is and to the benchmark score which i got here and the thing is performance is quite good the scores are showing something different so the thing which you want to believe you can simply believe on that now let me show you the safety net status that how is the safety net status the thing is it's good that safety net status is passing without any issues let me show you once by downloading an app i am not using magisk in my case by the way if you want to use magisk you might need to hide magisk but if you don't use magisk on your device like in my case i am not using by default you will get the safety net status passed and this should be on other devices also it's not about the redmi note it but if you using any other device you might get the safety net status passed by default now the main default camera is the thing in redmi note 8 you might get the miui camera which is a very very good thing it comes with the google apps build so yes google apps are present and this camera which is a miui camera stock miui camera is present for you if you want to use custom rooms and don't want to lose the, these aux lenses ultra wide depth sensor and all these things then this room has all those features for you don't worry about any kind of lens issues you can simply use these ultra wide angle lens etc and yes same like with the google camera i'm using the google camera 7.6 here which is gcam by parrot you can use gcam by other developer also it's just up to you but in my case i'm using gcam by parrot and it's quite comfortable it's quite good and the picture quality seems to be very very decent that's why i'm using this on my device now let's talk about another important thing which is 
the L1, L3 support. Yes, it's not supported for L1, which means you will not be able to stream Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Full HD. Yes, L1 support is not there. If the thing is which you need, the things which you need to keep in your mind includes this L1 or L3. What is the security level? And as you can see, security level showing you as L3. So yes, the things which you need to keep in mind includes this one. The battery backup, as I previously mentioned you, I'm using it from past a lot of hours basically. Let me show you the graph once that I have 15% battery left and it's been approximately two days. I have been using this room on my device and as you can see one hours and four minutes of screen on time which is a normal thing. I haven't played any kind of games by the way and this is a normal kind of thing of course if you are, if a room has a lot of customizations it's normal about these kind of battery backup related things. Megalith 11 which comes with many customizations I'm not gonna show you all these customizations if you don't know about the customizations I made dedicated video on ancient OS top features plus ancient OS 5.3 or 5.2 full review so make sure to watch that you will see all these customizations and everything else is same there might be some only little bit changes which i will make a video very very soon but everything else is same here i'm going to talk about all these features again and again as you can see quick setting tile background like a12 and some features these were the things i just wanted to let you know link is in the description this is all thanks for watching goodbye Like I'm floating through the air